Cattle sometimes do really stupid things. So Andrew was here this morning and he was out checking the crops. So we drove down and had a look at the beans down here. And I drove back up and noticed that this fool stuck their head through the fence in the pole shed. So things like this, uh, if go unnoticed, can and will kill them. Uh, luckily, I found this one just in time. Granted that we would have been coming through and doing chores in about an hour anyway, but the sooner you get them out of it, the better, uh, because sitting like this for long periods of time uh, will kill them even in just a few hours if they get it just right. So um, they start to freak out, pull out. Unluckily for them, the skin behind their head bunches up, which it, doesn't do, which it doesn't do when they go to put their head through. So they think it's fine until they go to try to pull their head out. They're, they get their ears through and then their ears flop up like some head stopper and then they can't get it out. So I'm gonna have to either push the board up or knock the board out if I can find something heavy enough to beat it with. Hey, moron. There you go. You okay? A little dazed, but no worse for wear. That's the last time he tries that for a while. All it took was beating the board out with this bar. That did the trick. So that's just one thing you gotta watch out for when you have cattle. I mean, they're always doing stupid things. You always wanna make sure that you're checking them regularly uh, for things like that. I mean, depending on how long they're stuck like that and whether or not they're stuck in a position that um, just causes them to flat out die, um, they, they might have a slow recovery time. Uh, this one looks like he'll bounce back in a day or two, but he's looking pretty lousy. I don't, I didn't see him when I drove by the first time, so I'm not totally sure. I think it's because I came around the fence that way and I was watching Andrew down here because he was kind of hidden behind the grass. So anyway, I'm going to beat that board back in and call her good. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work, and I'll see you next time. Gonna guess he was here for a little bit longer than I thought. Looks like he started up here and worked his way down, and he got stuck right there. I think a sledgehammer would have worked best in this situation for both taking it off and hammering the nails back in, but this is the first thing I found. So, later dudes.